Uh, Julian, welcome to Fox and Friends. Uh, good morning. You have a, a really morning tone over there. It's, it's midday here, so I'm, I'm going to try and adapt to, to how enthusiastic you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wake everyone up, and it is a Friday. So thank you so much for joining us. So you're saying you have significant and unexpected material that you're going to release before this election. Can you give us a little taste of what is included? Uh, no, not really. Um, sorry to disappoint you, but uh, we have quite a lot of material in relation to the U.S. election, thousands uh, of pages uh, relating to various aspects of the Hillary Clinton campaign and some other institutions. Uh, the publicity as a result of our DNC publications, which caused the top five uh, Democratic officials in the Democratic Party to resign, including the President Debbie Wasserman Schultz, has led uh, to other sources uh, being encouraged. Uh, and so they step forward. And hopefully that process will continue uh, as we continue to publish and we can see a, a kind of cascade of information, uh, hopefully also um, uh, coming out about the uh, Republican campaign. Uh, and then Americans uh, and others uh, can be better informed about who the new power figures are going to be right. in U.S. politics. Julian, you just said the Republican campaign. Do you have information about Donald Trump? We do have some information about the Republican uh, campaign. I mean, it, from a point of view of an investigative journalist organize, organization like WikiLeaks, the problem uh, with the Trump campaign is it's, it's actually hard for us to publish um, much more controversial material uh, than what comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. Uh, every second day. Um, that's a, I mean, a very strange uh, reality uh, for most of the media uh, to be in. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I had Reince Priebus on radio yesterday, and he said this, I'm not happy about whatever happened to the DNC and all those groups. It's not right, and obviously I'm not cheering for folks stealing private information from American entities. I'm not on board with that, whatever it means. So he watched his counterpart get fired and chaos ensue, and he's saying it's wrong. Why do you feel as though you have to insert yourself in the American process? Well, look, WikiLeaks is a global media organization. We are funded by the public. Uh, we're not funded by dodgy foundations. Uh, we're not funded by dodgy advertisers. Uh, we're funded by the public, in fact, mostly the American public. Uh, in fact, we're tax deductible in the United States. You can go to WikiLeaks.org <laughs> uh, and hit the donate button. Uh, and that means we can publish more and we can publish faster. Um, uh, so, you know, there's other Australian, other Australians that believe that the public have a right to know right. Uh, various senses. One of them owns your TV station, Rupert Murdoch. Okay. L let me ask you this. Does WikiLeaks have a policy about uh, publishing personal health records? Is there a possibility? We've heard a lot about ca various candidates' health this campaign. Uh, is there a possibility, and I know you're, you're being cagey about what, what uh, you're going to tell us you're going to release, but do you have a policy against releasing somebody's personal medical information? Uh, that's an interesting question in relation to a presidential candidate. I mean, we wouldn't bother uh, in other circumstances where someone is a, a, a power figure or there can be other, other cases. So in a criminal case, for example, mm -hmm. um, where someone's been shot, maybe that forms part of it. Where someone has died and there's a dispute over the will, for example, uh, and a question as to whether someone has been murdered, those can be part of it. But yes, if we received uh, medical information about the presidential candidates, I think that would be of genuine uh, interest. Okay, uh, well, well then let us ask you, then Julian, let's just be direct. Have you received information about Hillary, Hillary Clinton's medical condition? Can, yeah, we're not whatever gonna, it we're is. Not gonna, I know you guys would love would love it if we scooped ourselves on Fox and Friends, but we're not going to. Uh, we have already uh, published uh, thirty two thousand and more than that now uh, Hillary Clinton emails. Uh, you can search them on um, WikiLeaks.org. All of them. A lot of stories have come out about that. There are the, re passing references uh, to Hillary Clinton's uh, head injury, which she, she called. I have a cracked head, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, um, decision fatigue, uh, uh, to her looking up uh, Monadophil, uh, which is also 
called ProVigil in the United States, uh, which is a sort of an alertness drug. It's not to say that she has some necessarily serious disorder. Anyone in a very high-stress job like uh, military pilots might be taking this. Hmm. Um, but I, I think it is perfectly acceptable uh, to reveal serious information about our presidential candidates. That's a long history in, in the media, in fact, that they should uh, disclose themselves uh, information that might affect their ability to do, to do the okay. job. Julian, what is the most shocking thing that you have found out about Hillary Clinton? Well, I, I think the most interesting uh, and serious relate to upcoming publications we have, uh, a variety of different types, um, but a lot of information that we have already published. I mean, it, it may not be that apparent to um, most people who are not sort of specializing in geopolitics or national security, but and a major failure by the uh, Trump campaign and the Bernie Sanders campaign, Hillary Clinton tried to run uh, on her ha having judgment and experience in the State Department. Uh, later on, uh, those campaigns, too late in the process in my view, started picking up uh, that the experience was mostly a bad experience. Uh, so, for example, in Libya, uh, we published 1,700 emails about her involvement in Libya. Now, Benghazi is just a small part of that, uh, but she was the leading architect, uh, the leading political force of driving uh, to destroy uh, the Libyan state. Mm -hmm. And the Pentagon was pushing senior generals, sorry, generals okay. in the Pentagon, not all of them, but a number, uh, were pushing strongly that the Libyan state should not be destroyed because uh, radical jihadi groups would move in and take it over, which they did. Uh, it's now mm -hmm. uh, failed state. ISIS, etc. Right, uh, and it, she was the leading cause of this. We we published something uh, from her emails called the Libya TikTok. Uh, that's her internal brag sheet uh, of how she was the person uh, behind the Libyan catastrophe. It was produced in late 2011, uh, before right. it was that ISIS had moved in. We got about uh, 90 seconds. I want to come back and take. We have some viewer questions for you, Julian. And we do thank you for joining us this morning. However, I do notice one thing: you don't say anything bad about the Russians. Uh, you, they gave you your own TV show at a Russian-controlled media. Have That's they intimidated false. you? That's false. That's false. It's just false. It's false information. A, a, a lot of there's now a campaign underway because Hillary Clinton camp, Hillary Clinton's camp, and those who support her for good reasons and bad. Uh, uh, know that we have serious upcoming publications. So mm -hmm. since the DNC leaks, there's been a campaign uh, against WikiLeaks because they're worried about um, an ex publication. And we have a perfect record over a decade of having never got it wrong with what we published. So they can't, they can't attack the substance. They can't attack the evidence we produce. They can't attack our analysis. Uh, so instead, they try and attack us through ad hominems. It is false. Okay. I have never had a drop in Russia today, ever. Right. Uh, I produced the independent show. Uh, Twelve broadcasters bought it, including Russia, today back in 2012. All we right. have published 650,000 uh, documents about Russia or Putin, most of them critical. Uh, more than 2.3 million about Syria and Bashar al-Assad, right, including Julian. Bashar al-Assad's personal email. So this is just complete garbage. Okay. All right. Uh, as we mentioned, Julian is uh, sticking around to answer some of your questions. Through questions, WikiLeaks founder is with us right now. He's the editor-in-chief, and he's in the Ecuadorian embassy over in London. And here's the first question right, from Chris, Twitter. Yeah, Chris on Twitter said, has anyone approached you with offers trying to silence you, Julian? I wouldn't say offers. Uh, yes, there have, there have been threats uh, communicated through intermediaries. Uh, there have been... Uh, public threats uh, also. Um, some of those uh, you can see uh, operating in Ecuador through the opposition, uh, which is uh, said that I should be handed over to the British to be put in prison in, in direct response uh, to our DNC publications. Now, those threats are not going to work against this organization. Anyone looking at its history can see that. Uh, and the Ecuadorian people, the Ecuadorian government, that's a proud uh, tough nation. I don't expect those threats to work there either, and they would be illegal if uh, that attempt were carried out. Yeah, there was a guy trying to climb up the building. All right, uh, Posh 
has uh, tweeted this question. How high, Julian, does the corruption go in D.C.? Is that why she is untouchable? Well, I mean, the corruption goes, depending on how you define corruption, all the way to the top, obviously. Uh, I mean, that's no surprise to say that. Uh, no, what, what's happening is a form of elite immunity. Now, uh, Hillary Clinton, her administration with Obama, has prosecuted more journalists and journalist sources, including us and our alleged sources, uh, than all under the Espionage Act, than all previous presidents combined. In fact, more than three times as many as all previous presidents combined. They've gone after reporters uh, from Fox, uh, from, a, from AP, uh, as uh, well as a, a wide variety of other sources and, and small outfits. So when you see that Hillary Clinton has not been uh, prosecuted for um, uh, more than 100 uh, classified messages that she has exchanged, including ones that bear classification uh, labels, that is elite immunity. Now, Hillary Clinton is not the only one who has elite Im immunity. Yes, presumably it's because of the size of her network, uh, the, the amount of kind of cron cronyistic influences that she has developed. She's a hard target uh, for people to uh, tackle. It can, she can affect them back. Um, but you also see uh, no one from the National Security Agency uh, was uh, prosecuted as a result of Edward Snowden's uh, disclosures. Um, uh, James Clapper right. uh, has not okay. been uh, So, you know, the, there are various forms of elite immunity coupled with the, you know, the deep state, the intelligence agencies, mm -hmm. etc. Interesting. In All right. uh, and there's also political um, elite immunity. You've got enough political power. People can be very hard to possibly. Julian, okay. Julian Assange from London. Thanks for joining us.